This is a tutorial on how to create new environments for the LG SVL simulator. The first thing you're going to want to do is import or download mesh assets. Move the environment asset files. Place these files into external slash environments slash new map. Create folders for your models and materials. Create a separate folder for your prefabs. You should delete or move any scripts. Select your environment's materials and convert them to high definition render pipeline. You can load an existing scene or make a new one by placing your meshes. Delete all non-mesh objects from the scene. It is helpful to rename the static object to the name of your scene. Drag the static object into your project view to turn it into a prefab, all of the objects at 0, 0. Create another new scene and remove the map holder object. Drag the static prefab you previously made into this new scene. Save the scene into your root folder and name it the same as the root folder. Delete the other scenes in your root folder now. Under Simulator, click Annotate HD Map. The annotation map object's name should now match your scene. Save your changes using Ctrl and S. Organize your static prefab by double-clicking on the prefab in the project window to open up the prefab editor. You can then create empty objects to act as parents for groups of objects. For light meshes, create and set emission textures. Use an image editor such as Photoshop to create the emission texture. Add a time of daylight component to each light mesh. Add child objects to each light mesh with the Unity light components. Run the scene to test if the time of day effects are running as intended. Your light should now work with the time of day. Now repeat the process for buildings. Set each object's semantic tag and categorized layer. Note that you should keep the road layer as default. Override the changes onto the prefabs. Change the shader on the roads to shader graph slash environment simulation. If necessary, adjust material properties. Environmental effects will now work. Next, you need to apply mesh colliders to roads and obstacles. This will allow physics interaction within the simulator. Set the data in the map origin object. NPC categories set the type for each map.
Set spawn info, position, and rotation. This will be where the car spawns when you run the simulator. Now make sure to save the scene and run the simulator. Make sure to test the environmental effects. Nice work! You have just created a new map for the simulator. To build the bundle, open Build under the Simulator tab. Select the environment that you have just created and build. Save this to Simulator slash Asset Bundles. Open Loader Scene to access the web's user interface. Create a new map entry by entering a map name and a path. Be sure to double check that your path is correct. Next, create a new simulation or add a map to the existing one. Run the simulation and you should see your new map at work. Thanks for watching.